So I'm Fahad from Always Prep. This is not me. This is Mr. Jin Su. Uh, he's learning this for the first time right now as well. He's a sixth grade math teacher in Washington, DC. He's a friend, Teach for America alum, um, and he's been teaching for several years. And like a lot of the people you'll meet today, here's another one. Uh, that's a teacher that's really enamored with online education technology tools, right? He uses Khan Academy in his classroom to watch videos, do some assessment stuff, because some kids like it, some kids don't, you know, and, and, but it, it's a great tool for him to use in the classroom. He also uses Edmodo to, to post those tools and assignments on his class right through the site. He uses Manga High because he likes to play, his classroom likes to challenge other classrooms in, in math games and so forth, right? He uses Study Island because the school requires it. He uses Mastery Connect to connect it with state standards. He uses Kickboard to manage some of the data. Everyone's starting to laugh in here because it seems like that kind of resonates with teachers. Is that accurate to say? Awesome, I think. Um, there are a lot of tools out here. And actually, uh, I actually wrote a quick note. Um, while Marshall was talking, he mentioned a bunch of companies as well. You mentioned Revolution Prep, Achieve 3000, ST Math, Khan Academy, and Better Lessons, right? So the point being, where does Mr. Mr. Ha really, yeah, drink. Uh, where does Mr. Ha really focus his attention? And that's really the point behind Always Prepped and what we're trying to solve, right? While kids are using all of these tools, what's the most important part? We heard him say for 10 minutes that the data being collected on, and how you can act on it is the most important part. We learned that, well, Mr. Ha helped us learn that um, the data is all over the place, right? He's got 30 kids, he teaches three periods, he's on 20 platforms. That's 20 times 90 times every single login they do and every single data point. That's tons and tons of data points. What we want to do for him, because he already doesn't have enough time, we want to simplify that process. We want to give him the most important metrics from all of these accounts on a single dashboard so he can act immediately without doing any extra work. So his, you know, in this example, his Khan Academy account is connected. His sorry, his Study Island account is connected. His Khan Academy account is connected. And we actually wanted to make it really simple um, which is why I'm showing you this page, you know, he is also connected now on Khan Academy with a click of a button, right? We'll pull all his data, we'll get all, his, all of his information, and then we'll go to the page where all the magic happens, right? Um, so here's a single dashboard. Mr. Ha logs in, it's a beautiful interface. It shows him exactly how he's performing as a teacher across the board. It, it gives him a bunch of filtering ranges by, by week, by hour, his periods, the classes he wants to use, and most importantly, it tells him which students to focus on across the board. And he hasn't done any extra work. The kids haven't done any extra work, nothing. Um, he, it also tells him who's doing well. And maybe there's a kid that's 100% across the board who needs to be pushing the gifted programs and so forth. But for example, you come in here, he's looking at Kristen Barnes, right? Kristen's averaging 70%. She's struggling in the classroom. I want to intervene before she falls into the red. So let's see what's happening with Kristen's account. He comes into Kristen's account. He can see exactly what she's doing on Khan, on Edmodo, on Study Island, all these other sites that we're, connect, we're, we're gonna be connected to, and see exactly where she's performing well related to common core standards and where she's doing poorly, right? So the first step is really aggregating all this useful information where a teacher can react quickly, but the really interesting thing that starts to happen with Always Prepped is actually the overlay of the data, right? Right now, all, all of these uh, systems exist on their own in silos, if you will, right? What's interesting is, for example, Class Dojo was mentioned earlier. It's a behavior, mod behavior tracking tool. There are several of them, but we, we like them. What if he knows Kristen's dog died and her parents are getting divorced, right? What if he could overlay behavioral data now with academic data and intervene before something really goes wrong? Now we start to see interesting correlations with what's happening in the classroom, not just from an academic standpoint, but from a, from a psychological standpoint, from a social standpoint, and so forth, which is, you know, if you talk to enough teachers, that's a massive issue, especially in elementary schools and middle schools across the world, not to mention high schools as well, but it's a little easier to track when you're younger. We're talking tens of millions of kids in this country alone that have these kind of concepts and, and issues. Lastly, um, if Mr. Hug goes back to his dashboard, it's not just reading, uh, Marshall actually mentioned Achieve 3000. I swear I didn't throw this in my demo in the last five minutes. What if you could overlay reading data with math data? Right, that now becomes super important, especially where we come from, DC, ground zero of education. 70, when I heard you say 75% of kids pass, I immediately thought in DC it's 80%, sorry, 75% of kids fail. In DC it's actually 80% of kids are not on grade level in math and reading. So I'm gonna finish with a quick story and lessons learned here. Um, quick lessons, and I'm gonna tie this into my story. Teachers have very little time is what we learned, right? They're teaching, they're doing 
planning, they have very little time for professional development as well. We can't go around telling them how to use all these different products and teaching them the nuances. And you know, imagine learning Excel all over again with every feature. That's why we've designed something super simple for them to use, right? So I'm going to finish with my story. In DC, uh, I was testing a math product out. We were trying it on a bunch of kids, third graders. And I saw this one little girl uh, in a row of laptops. She was just sitting there. She tried it, bombed the first quiz. Let's call her Kristen. I might actually be her real name, but Barnes is in her last name. Um, so I walked over, I asked her if she needed some help. And she said, yeah, sure. So I started working through the problems with her. And as I'm going through the math concepts uh, and reading the problems, I recognized she wasn't reading along with me. And, but when I read her the math problem, she counted and got the answers right. She did fine on the math part. Her problem was she didn't know how to read in third grade. And there's no way to understand that unless we have all the data synchronized in one place, which is exactly the types of problems we're trying to solve for teachers. Um, administrators and, and principals. Now, the last point I want to leave everyone with is, you know, are people going to give you data, right? That was the first question we asked. We found 91 different companies with open APIs, SIS systems, integration systems. If half of them were to disappear tomorrow, we could still reach every teacher and student in America immediately. It's always prepped.